Rainbow's velvety, rich, delectable chocolate desserts would satisfy even the most demanding gourmet. Hello, my name is Hong Lan, and today I'm making a chocolate dessert using an original recipe from Raymond Blanc. A couple of days ago, one of my friends uh, texted me asking for help to make a dessert that she can take to her date's house. And I remember watching this video from Raymond Blanc, I'll put the link here, um, thinking, oh, that looks really interesting, I'd love to make it. So, cutting the story short, if you want to see how I make the dessert and make all the decorations, before packing them all up, then keep on watching! So to make two chocolate desserts, you will need 160 grams of cream, um, 70 grams of milk, and 150 grams of chocolate, and last but not least, one large egg. And that's it for the ingredients. Simple, isn't it? First, we're going to uh, pour in all the liquid, and that is the milk and the cream. I'm using a whipping cream. Uh, it's probably the thickest of all the creams, but hey, it's a special occasion. No guilt. Right, we have to really make sure that it's boiling, because when we pour it on the egg, it's going to cook the egg. So it's very, very important that it's boiling. You will see that it's going to foam, and when it foams, and it's about to spill all over your hob, you know it's ready. Now I'm going to um, crack the egg and whisk it. While the um, cream and the milk is boiling, uh, we're going to chop the chocolate. Let's, let's take a look at um, the milk. You can see the milk is boiling and it's boiling like this that you have to um, quickly take it out of the stove. So I'm just waiting for it to really, really boil and I'll pour it on my egg. And now in goes the chocolate. Continue whisking. Oops. Voila. That's it, there you have it. Now this is the nicest bit of the recipe, which is tasting it. Mmm, this is so good. Doesn't need any sugar. Got two glasses. And normally I do them in, in a glass um, glass, but uh, because my friend is taking those away, I thought a plastic cup would be fine. Pouring this in. Like so. I'm just stopping here. some autumnal fruit um, so these are pears that I've, um, I've stewed in a bit of butter and caramel so like a toffee butter and I've added a little bit of cinnamon um, just to make it really autumnal voila voila just a little bit so it's all hidden and then we'll continue pouring I use my spatula to get to grab the last bit because trust me once you've tried it you don't want to waste any of it I've taken um, the two dessert out of the fridge um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate them. Remember, just like a little black dress, it just needs a little bit to lift it up. So first, I'm going to put some hazelnut. So here we've got um, two types of hazelnut. These um, are caramel coated while these are chocolate coated. Lime zest with a bit of sugar and some toasted almonds. Uh, 
And last but not least, some caramel chocolate. Put that here, like this. That. Voilà. And there you have it. Two wonderful little desserts ready to serve. What do you think? So I just decorated uh, those desserts, but if you had to carry them all the way to someone's house, then what I would uh, advise you to do is to take them as they are, do not decorate them, and pack them. Like I've just made some little uh, packets and I've labeled them uh, with all the decorations um, in some greaseproof paper uh, or baking parchment, I think. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So everything is in there. You can see the chocolate caramel, the lime sugar, um, the chocolate hazelnut, the toasted almonds, and the caramel hazelnut. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. Uh, do leave me some comments if you've got any questions uh, and let me know what else you want me to make next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.